We're off on a whole new adventure, and it's very exciting. We sort of built this family that just kept growing and growing and growing, and it sort of culminated and grew into friends. A teenager came up to me and said, you've got to tell me what happens with Ross and Rachel. And I said, I, I don't even tell my children. It's the beginning of a new season for the hit television show, Friends. In a little more than two weeks, the first episode will be filmed in front of a live audience. Over the next nine months, 23 more will come together in rapid fashion. A TV show is like a freight train. Once it leaves the station, it gathers an unstoppable and relentless momentum. First on board for Friends are the writers. In the first episode, maybe the first line you're playing catch up, but... You know, the, the second one, when you, you know, I just got to get it off my chest. Not to me! You know, I think you're definitely it's there. Easy. This is the oh, yeah. Rachel's Hotel Room. Remember in the cliffhanger last season how they uh, Her and Ross got, got kind of drunk in here? Kind of. They were blasting. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hello. 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 <laughs> Cliffhanger at the end of last season was sort of a double cliffhanger. This is it. Are you sure you want to do this? Monica and Chandler plan to get married. Just before they walk into the chapel and are able to go through with it, Ross and Rachel drunkenly stumble out of the chapel having just gotten married. Whoa! Oh my god. We, A, don't know what Monica and Chandler are going to do, and B, we have no idea what the hell Ross and Rachel were thinking and how, what they're going to do to get out of it, or if they even want to get out of it. Adam Chase is an executive producer and one of the head writers on Friends. He's written the first two drafts of the premiere episode, and now the way it works is the script gets thrown to the table, where the entire writing staff gives input and makes suggestions. It's not about that. What it's not about, about is he, um, he really just does not want another divorce. And I really think that confuses things. You can fix it by, in that scene that he says, we'll get an annulment. And he goes, oh, and she's blah, blah, blah. And he says, well, it's because it's still a failed marriage. And she goes, but it's like it never happened. And she sells it, and he goes, oh, okay. He kind of reluctantly gets on board. Then you'll at least understand it when he does it, and it's not just odd. This episode, the first episode of the season, we've got the wedding chapel, Rachel's hotel room, the coffee shop at Caesars with the buffet line. We have an airplane. We have Monica and Rachel's apartment. John Schaffner, the art director, runs down the list of sets in the season premiere for supervising producer Todd Stevens. But it's all guesswork because the script is still a work in progress. Okay. Like if, if you leave really upbeat, bye Rachel, bye, bye, see ya. Okay, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. Yeah. I didn't do it. I think that's less funny. Oh. I think it's funnier. <laughs> Not the way you it's did opposite. it. It's opposite. Then. No, I think it's actually it's funnier when it's got a kind of when it's I got a new line head. build up. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, the acting. I love. It was vivid. It was like, wow, where'd Sean go? But as friends heads into another season, there's a lot riding on just how funny they can make it. It's always one of the top ten rated shows on television and NBC still relies upon Friends to kick off its crucial Thursday night block of must-see TV programming. Must-see TV Thursday in two weeks. As far as our Thursday night goes, it, launched, it sets off our Thursday night, and without it, we would have a very difficult time keeping the numbers as high as they are. It becomes an identity. You know, when people drive by the Warner Brothers lot and they see the Friends cast photo on that wall, you know, for the studio, it is, we are the studio that produces Friends. You know, the financial rewards are should be obvious. Friends averages over 24 million viewers every week. This makes it one of the crown jewels for Warner Brothers Studios. They produce the show and sell it to NBC. I actually think that's all you need. I think Phoebe, can, really? after Phoebe's joke, she can walk out and they can all walk out after her. At either end of the writer's table sit Marta Kaufman yeah. and David Crane.
They created Friends, and together with their partner, Kevin Bright, Big first show, big first show. They oversee one of television's most successful production companies. Besides Friends, Bright Kaufman Crane has two other shows in primetime. Bright Kaufman Crane. Sweetie. Jesse and Veronica's Closet. Meet your new boss. Hello. <laughs> there you go. We met in college. That's right. And so we, we've been writing for over 20 years together. And we did musicals in New York. We wrote musicals. In our late 20s, we went, wow, we're not making any money. And so... I had a baby at this point. We just started coming up with ideas for shows and trying to sell them. And one of the first ones we sold was Dream On. Dream On's success on cable opened the door to the networks. NBC put Friends on the air in 1994, and Bright Kaufman Crane was off and running. Kai Blomberg, Quent Schierenberg, and Greg Bruza make up the set dressing department for Friends. Their first order of business is to dress one of the three main sets on Friends, Monica and Rachel's apartment. This means putting back every piece of furniture, decorative art, books, and the countless other items that turn a soundstage into a TV home. Wow. This is Marjorie, our prop master. Well, we like to call her a prop, prop diva. Divas. Can we stay back? Coming into the prop room, Let's see what it looks like after last season's uh, clothes. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Props are what I do. Props are anything an actor touches. Anything that they need to touch and handle is right. something that props handles. You know, on other kinds of shows, it would be guns, it would be, you know... A clipboard, a briefcase, a cup of... In this case, a cup of coffee, the food lot. they're eating, the yeah. magazine they're reading. Anything the actor touches, she has to find and make it just perfect for that character and for the scene. Hey! <gasps> hey! Monica, it's so beautiful. I know. <gasps> At one episode, Monica had a dollhouse given to her by her great aunt. It was a Victorian beautiful dollhouse, and, she, and Phoebe wanted to play with it, but Phoebe wanted to bring all sorts of absurd things into it, and Monica refused. So check it out. Ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? That's a dog. Every house should have a dog. <laughs> Not one that can pee on the roof. <laughs> So Phoebe decided to make her own dollhouse out of shoeboxes. Ah, look, look! <gasps> so that was a real fun one. Of course, we had to make six. So not only did we make in like three dollhouse. days. Yeah, yeah. It was a short day. We had the licorice room. You can eat all the furniture. <laughs> Does anyone want to join me in the aroma room? Uh, I would. But we had to make six because, of course, they had to burn. It was like the piece de resistance of this department at one time. All the pieces of Friends' signature set, Central Perk, have been found, and work continues on reassembling the world's most famous make-believe coffee house. Good job, Eddie, Tommy, Reuben, Danny, Larry, Johnny. You guys did a nice job. Adult Model Building 101. Let's go to lunch! Once Central Perk is back up, Greg, Kai, and Quint begin to choreograph the redressing of the set. Just make it straight through. I can see it. To redress these sets, we have all these continuity photos to help us along the road. We have, like in this plexi counter, we get all this coffee and tea product and you name it, that we change every third, fourth episode, you know, to make it realistic because you can't have a stagnant coffee shop where everything stays the same. A new draft of episode one has come down from the writer's room. Some scenes have been written out and replaced with new ones. This triggers a hasty conference held on a prop a Caesar's Palace blackjack table. 
So we can leave the wedding chapel as is. Right. I just need to know what to like. Can we work on this to light now? It's not going to move. Don't right? ask They me. can, but it's a gamble. Right here. Can I take it up a moment? Thank you. Watch your eyes. Double 